What's going on guys? Welcome to the channel. If you've been here for a while, I just want to take a second and say thank you so much. I really appreciate your time and attention in such a noisy world. And if you're new here, welcome. My name's Eric and this is my channel, Minimalist Musician. My goal here in starting this channel was just to help as many people as I could. I want to help everyday guitar players or musicians just enjoy playing music more. I've been playing and teaching for a long time myself, I'm completely obsessed with learning and sharing new things, and I really really like trying to find the most efficient way to do things. I always like trying to find better ways to do things so that we can just spend all of our time enjoying the music we're making. As the channel name suggests, I'm a big fan of the less is more mentality in music and in life as well, but in all my videos, that's kind of the tone that runs underneath of everything. That being said, there are generally a couple of broad topics on this channel I like to talk about, and I wanted to take a second and see what you guys want to see more of. Truthfully, lately I've been struggling a little bit with video ideas. I have lots of them, and I'm just kind of struggling to decide which ones to actually make because I want to make the ones first that are going to impact you guys the most. I want to make the stuff that you guys want to see. So instead of just guessing and throwing things at the wall, I figured, you guys are here, why don't I just ask you? If you haven't noticed this pattern, I tend to make videos on three broader topics. The first is teaching theory and different physical concepts of playing guitar. Typically, I tend to stay away from actually teaching songs. That's not what I want to do here. There's a lot of people out there doing that already. I teach a lot of students on a regular basis here, and I see all these little things that when they master them, those help them in all aspects of their guitar playing. And those are the kinds of things I want to be sharing here. So it could be things about chords or about scales or about ways to view the fretboard, things about strumming or right hand technique, all sorts of little topics like that, little things that really go a long way when you master them. The intention with these videos is that when you get the idea down, they're going to help you in everything you do going forward on the guitar. For instance, a little while back, I made a video on a couple little things you can do to seriously improve your strumming, and I think your overall guitar playing altogether. You can check it out right here. The next topic I tend to talk a lot about, and I've been really focusing a little bit more on lately, is gear. The reason I've been going a little harder on the gear videos lately is because those are the ones that seem to get the most views. So the way I interpret that is those are the videos that are helping you guys the most. Now, when I started this channel, I kind of wanted to avoid gear as much as possible. However, when I thought about it, it's silly to do that because gear is such a quintessential part of guitar playing. Yes, I still think less is more when it comes to gear, and in fact, I'm doing a whole challenge right now where I don't buy any gear for one year. I started it in January, and now it's the end of May, and, and you know what? It's not as hard as I thought it was going to be. I thought I was going to struggle so hard. There have been a few times where I was tempted to buy something, but... I don't know, I just didn't do it, obviously, and I haven't been any sadder. I'm equally happy with guitar and life. Maybe that's something you guys could try. Even through this time though, I have been making some videos about gear. Some of it's gear I already have, and some of it's stuff I've either borrowed from friends or the local Long & McQuaid here in North Bay. They've been kind enough to lend me a few pieces of gear to try out and make videos on because I thought they could be helpful to you guys. I definitely still try and put a bit of a minimalistic spin on those from my own perspective, where I think you gotta learn everything a pedal does or a piece of gear does before you move on to something else. That's something I think a lot of us struggle with, me in particular. I know in the past I was maybe utilizing 5 or 10% of something I owned and never spent the time to really dig deep. Now that I've started doing that because I can't buy anything else and I have to use what I've got, I'm finding that the one piece of gear that I have, I thought maybe I needed something else, is way more powerful than I had ever imagined. And if you just spend some time with these things, I think that's where they can really open up. In fact, I think sometimes we actually have to spend as much time learning our gear as we do learning how to play guitar or music in general. And that's not a bad thing. In the past, I was definitely guilty of spending maybe more time learning about gear or researching gear than playing guitar. And yeah, that can have a bit of a negative connotation. Some people think that that's not the way it should be. I think you do need to spend that time. You really need to learn the gear you have if you want to make the most out of it. We live in a world where gear is so, so good and we can get so many great sounds as average everyday guitar players at home in our bedrooms or our studios or our living rooms or wherever you're playing your guitar. The reality of being a guitar player or a musician in 2022 is that really you should be taking advantage of all the great things like that out there and it takes a bit of time. The third broad concept I like to cover here is minimalism in general and although 
though there's always a minimalistic undertone to all the videos here, sometimes I really like to dig into specific things. Typically, these tend to be mindset shifts or different ways that we can think about guitar playing or where we're at or our gear or anything like that. Sometimes just reframing how you think about something can really have a big impact on how you approach your guitar playing or life for that matter. I've definitely been inspired by guys like Matt Diavella, Nathaniel Drew, or the minimalists on these kinds of topics. And I think that a lot of that stuff that they're talking about can definitely trickle in to our music lives. And I think it's really important to talk about them. Sometimes something as simple as just shifting your mindset can help you cut out all that extra noise out there, focus on what you want to focus on, and enjoy making music more. So what is it you guys want to see? Be as specific as you want. You can let me know of these three broad topics which videos are you enjoying most? Which specific video have you enjoyed most and do you want to see more content like? Or let me know what your guys' specific problems are in the comments down below pertaining to any of these topics or literally anything about guitar playing in general. Things that we've struggled with or are currently struggling with are things that other people have or are currently struggling with. And if we band together, I think there's a great opportunity here to help each other out. We can all become better players and we can become happier individuals because of that. I'm gonna use the comment section of this video as a bit of a jumping off point. So again, let me know what you wanna see more of. I do have a huge list of videos I'm excited to make, but I really wanted to get your guys' input because the whole community thing here is so, so important to me. Comment down below on this video or any other videos of mine you watch. I love hearing from you guys. Like I said, I love chatting with you guys. And if you're finding the content valuable, please consider liking the videos and don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell icon for more content in the future if if you're enjoying it. I know I already said it at the beginning of the video, but guys, thank you so much for your time and attention in such a noisy world. And until next time, I hope you get out there and make some music.